Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Uh, in today's video, I want to answer a question that I get asked pretty regularly, and that is, how do I update a container? Uh, if I know there's an update available, how can I update it to get the most recent version uh, and, and make sure everything keeps working the way we want it to? Uh, so in this video, we're going to cover how to do that. We're going to do it in Portainer. Uh, it's probably the easiest way I've ever encountered to update a container. So I guess with that being said, let's jump over to my desktop and take a quick look at a few things here. So here we are on my desktop and this is my email this is the notification that I've received uh, about 65 times over the last five hours uh, and that is saying that I've got three updates available one for jacket one for nextcloud and one for sonar uh, and I'm getting these from watchtower but right now I've got watchtower set up uh, to be monitor only so that way uh, I'm in control of the update updates actually happening I just get notified when the updates are available uh, so this is something that you can put in Watchtower uh, just to get notifications to let you know when there's an update available. So what we can do here is uh, we can go back over here. Let's take a look at Jacket first. Uh, so let's see, let, Jacket is right here. So all we've got to do is open this up. We're going to click on Recreate up here at the top. And right here, it's going to uh, say you're going to you're about to recreate this container. All uh, non-persistent data will be lost. This container will be removed, and a new one will be created using the same configuration. Do you want to pull the latest image? The answer to that is yes. Go ahead and click on recreate right there. So right now, what it's doing is it's pulling the the newest image from the server and downloading it. And just that quickly, it's gone ahead and actually redeployed that container with all of the newest updates. <clears throat> so uh, we had Jacket, we also had Sonar. Uh, so let's uh, let's find, oh, Sonar is right here. So let's open this. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna click on Recreate. We're gonna say, pull the latest image. And we're gonna click on Recreate. We'll give this just a minute to do its thing, to pull it, to extract it, and redeploy. Should only take just a moment, and there we go, just that quickly. Now we've got Jacket and Sonar updated uh, in the matter of just a couple of minutes here. So uh, while we're at it, let's also take a look at the Nextcloud app right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We're going to click Recreate. We're going to say pull the latest image and recreate. So what this is going to do is it's going to pull the latest image of whatever image you used when you created this. It's just going to reduplicate everything and make this the easiest update you can possibly do. Uh, just that quickly, in less than three minutes, we updated three containers, and now we've got everything updated ready to go. So now I will stop getting this ridiculous amount of emails. In fact, I should be uh, scheduled to get another one here in a minute, but I'm not gonna get that because there are no more updates on my server, at least not for these three containers. So guys, with all that being said, that's how easy it is to update a container in Docker using Portainer. Uh, I think this feature just recently came out in one of the newest updates. I could be mistaken on that, but I've only recently discovered it in one of the newest updates. Uh, and it makes it super easy to manage all of your updates and get everything uh, secured and everything up to date very, very quickly and easily. So if you found the video helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Uh, there are a couple of links in the description if you want to check those out. Uh, where other ways you can support the channel. Uh, one is coffee. Uh, that's a one-time tip jar. There's also Patreon, uh, where there are a few different levels of uh, membership that you can join up to there. Uh, two of those membership levels will give you access to a uh, patrons-only Discord server, uh, so we can just hang out and chat about whatever you'd like to chat about there. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.